everyone. I missed you. Do you like going on trips with pictures? Is it fun? Last time, travel to the sky with birds. So today, I'm very excited to see if any new friends will come to us. So let's go on a story trip right now. The ground was a wide field. It was filled with green color and fragrance. So they invited a friend, sheep, who would be very happy with the scent. The sheep was not able to see, but suddenly appeared. Earth discovered the sheep and then talked to it. I invited you because you might like the smell of this field. How is it? Then she answered, I can't see now, but I really like the smell of this place right now. Ba, 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 ba. I don't know where this is, but with the scent, I can feel this place, Baba. Thank you very much for inviting me here, Baba. The earth wanted to invite a friend to take care of sheep who could not see. Earth asked Sun, Do you have any friends who can take care of the sheep by sheep's side? Then Sun answered, if someone can take care of the sheep in the fields and plant flowers and trees on the ground, wouldn't it be good? There must be someone. Let's believe that. Everything will be alright. We will meet again with a smile tomorrow. So, will we go out to see the sheep while we color? First, prepare the materials. Today, we only need some paper and crayons. Please mark where the earth is first. Did you learn that last time? And I'm going to draw a hill behind it. You can color it like a big wave. You can draw it a little bit higher and lower. And I'll draw the sun and the clouds in the sky. This time, draw the sun just above the mountain. Then I'll try to draw the clouds with a bit darker color. clouds, four or so. Please draw some grass. Pointy grass. And rounded grasses. Next, I will color with the next color. Oh! Don't we have a sheep? Sheep will appear when you complete the field. Please don't worry. Shall we color the grass with yellow green? Because the grass is wide this time, you don't have to do it all carefully. Please spread it very wide and comfortably. Yes, the grass has been colored in. And I'll color the hills green. This is the first hill. I'll color this green. Next is the 
second hill. I'll color it a bit darker green. Even if the hills are the same, it looks a bit nicer if the colors are different. So I'll color the second hill with a darker green. And the third hill will be colored yellow-green, which was colored on the grass. Color the grass below slightly. This time, I try to color it with more power. Then the same color looks different. I color three hills like this. Then I'll color the sun. I colored the round sun orange instead of yellow. Well, now I'm gonna color the sky. I'll lay down the crayon and color the sky again this way. This time, I'll color it all, including the clouds. With the colors mixed, it looks like natural clouds have formed. Color lightly, color with power. Hold the crayon at an angle or standing up. Practice coloring in lots of different ways, everyone. been completed. Yes, color all of the picture. I am going to draw a small sheet on this small size paper. Yes, I'm going to draw the next sheet and I'm going to color it in yellow. Now, I will fill in the whole area with yellow first. And then, I will color black on the yellow. So, it's filled with yellow. Then I'll color black on the yellow. I'll try. Until black covers the yellow. Are you curious about what I'm doing now? Now I'm going to draw a shape over here. Please, be excited about how we are going to draw this sheep. The more the yellow is covered, the better. Yes, the yellow is almost all covered up. Now, I'm going to draw a sheep over this. We will draw it with a pencil. I'm going to draw with the pencil's end, not its front. Because it does not show up when we draw over the white. But when you draw over it, take a look at how this works. Now, first I'll draw the sheep's face. The face has a small circle and 
The ears on the sides are drawn with small circles. Color the sheep's body like a cloud, like this. And I want to draw a small tail. Then, do you know how many legs she has? Yes, four legs. Two front legs, two hind legs. I'll draw like this. And the harder that I scratch, the more the yellow shows. So you can scratch the body while turning it like this. And then the yellow color underneath shows beautifully. So I scratch the body and make it look yellow. You can also color the tail like this. Or if you like the black color, leave it this way. And next, the eyes, nose, and mouth are not here. I'll try to draw it lightly. Eyes, nose, and a smiling mouth. Yes! The yellow sheep is completed. I'll cut out this sheep with scissors. Now, in this way, make the sheep come up inside the paper. Cut it out easily. Round it. Make the legs come inside the paper. Yes. I try to cut it like this. Then I will put glue on the inside. Okay, yeah, here it is. When you open the lid, now it looks like this. Here, turn the sheep over. Put glue on the back. Now, after turning and pasting this, turn it over again and put it on where you want to put the sheep. Now, where should I put it? Do you want to put it in front of the hill here? Yes? If you want, press it like this. So, the sheep is on the hill. Stuck here. Yes, I hope the sheep will enjoy being on this hill. How was your class today? Today, sheep was invited and sheep could not see. How would you feel if you couldn't see? When you meet people who cannot see, please help them. Next time, I'll be waiting for a friend to come and help sheep. So let's both look forward to meeting again next time. Bye, everyone.